this fantastic box. Now, you're getting a lot, so you're really getting your money's worth. We have three dies here, so I'll talk them through. We have the Flutter On Buy die here, so with this you get these really cool um, silhouette dies of butterflies, but you also get a lovely detailed die that corresponds and goes on top, so this is fantastic for mixing the colours that we've got available for you, which I will go over in just a sec. So this one here, really great. You can make it dimensional as well by bending these wings upwards, or you can have them flat, you can make patterns, you can use these as stencils, uh, you just there's so much to work with with this die set. Now, what set would be complete without a lovely sentiment set here? Now, we've got this lovely calligraphy style set. Uh, this one here is the script sentiments. We've got all the sentiments that you would need to cover any kind of celebration uh, that you might be celebrating. So, uh, we've got happy birthday there. We've got with love. We've got a happy anniversary and a congratulations one, all in this lovely calligraphy style there, which is hard to replicate with a pen. Um, so I'm really glad that we've got these stamps just to put on the front of your card and it's just done for you. You can mix and match the different words, as the different phrases as well. Um, I've just used love on one of the cards that I'm gonna show you in just a bit. Okay, so and along with these, you've also got this Fantastic, this is called Jar of Flowers uh, by Lisa Jones. Let me just talk you through, actually, do you know what? I never mention the people who've designed these. We've got these amazing skilled die designers who put so much effort into making these dies, and I think it's only best that we give them a shout out now. So we've got Lisa Jones here, she's created this jar of flowers, and it's brilliant. It, it, it works along with our 3D shaker domes, which come as part of the set as well. Um, so it corresponds with this, they all fit together, and just look at all these florals that you can just mix and match and do what you want with, change all the colors around, you can layer them up, you can make them dimensional, uh, you can use a sculpting kit with them, there's just loads that you can do with this. So this one here is by Lisa Jones. Here we have Jess Scott, and this one, I'm not actually sure, but do you know what? I'm going to look and I'm going to post in the comments or somewhere, get someone to tell you who has designed this die here because I can't actually see on the packaging. I don't suppose you know, Mr. Cameraman? Not a clue, my friend. Okay, well, we will find out and let you know because I think that's important. So, they're just the dies that come with the set. We also have a selection of our pattern paper here. So this is the whole pad. You're not getting the whole pad in the set. I don't think the whole uh, pad would frankly fit in the set. You're getting a really lovely selection of these pattern papers. Now these pattern papers, they work with the colors. So they match the colors from our color story. Um, so you're always gonna be able to have that kind of thematic approach to a card and have all the colors fit in really well together. Um, so you have a selection of those. We're getting 10 sheets of our color story uh, textured card stock here. Let me just spread these out. So we're having all these pink colors here. We've got the ballet slipper. Um, we've got Lemoncello here, Lavender Dust, got the Arctic Sky, and then we've got all these green colours here. And what I like about this set is that we've made it easier for you to uh, make a stylized card that uses different shades of one colour. So it makes it really easy to colour match when you've got lots of different shades of one colour. So here we've got the Mermaid Kiss. Uh, the agave, the green tea, and lush leaves there as well for you. Got two different types of pinks, got two different types of yellow slash orange, uh, and then we've got a blue and a really lovely, this is one of my favorite colors, the lavender dust there. So that, you get all those 10 sheets in this set. This also comes along with our adhesive sheets, which we have included in a lot of our sets recently because this just takes any of the hard work out of sticking those really small elements die, uh, down. And when you're working with a die such as the ones we've got in the set that are quite lovely and detailed, we've got these really thin parts here, using our adhesive sheets makes it that much easier to apply adhesive to the back, stick it down, 
and then there's going to be none of that glue mess around the outside. Also, these adhesive sheets do make it so that the uh, die cut elements are repositionable. If you're careful, you use some of our tweezers uh, just to take that up. You can reposition once you've stuck down, which is really handy. Okay, so along with that, we have some of our decorative foil sheets here. So these are the silver decorative foil sheets. These work so well. And I'm going to show you some of these cards just in a little bit. Uh, that use these decorative foil sheets. You can apply any kind of adhesive, just uh, stick it over the top. I'm going to take one out of the packaging for you just to show you what they look like. There we are. So it's this really kind of lovely fine kind of aluminium and then you apply it over the area that you've applied adhesive to. You give it a rub and then you'll pull it off. You can either get a really distressed look or you can have a really full silver metallic look if you just apply it a few times. So these sheets are really great to play around with. Okay, so that's what you're getting in the box. Uh, onto some, of, oh, also I have forgotten to mention, <laughs> I'm still going here. It's a good thing that Pete has pointed the rest of these things out to me. I was thinking, surely there could be no more. Uh, so we're going to get some of our sequins and beads here, a selection, uh, and they come in our Arctic Sky colours here. So I'm going to show you actually one of the cards that I've used uh, these sequins and beads on just to create a bit of liveliness in the card there. So you get these as well, and then you also get these uh, five sheets of our white cardstock, and this is just a slightly thicker card, so it's a higher GSM, which makes it perfect for using as a card base because you've got that sturdiness and we've got that lovely crisp white colour there that all the colours, especially our colour story colours, are going to really pop against that white background. Okay, now onto the cards. Have I mentioned everything? <laughs> I think so. Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, here is just one of the cards. I've just used the aperture of those butterfly dies. And that's another thing about that die is the fact that you've got the option just to use it as an aperture. Uh, I've placed some of the cardstock underneath here, a few different shades of the pink, our two lightest pinks that come in the set. And you can just see the difference in the color, which adds a bit of elegance to the card. Then we've used some of our sequins and beads and just scattered them over and glued them down. And how simple is that? And it's backed on some of the patterned paper that you get with the set. Now this is the Love Sentiment. As I said earlier, I've just used that Love Sentiment on its own from um, the, those phrases dies. And I've used, I don't know if you can tell on here, it's slightly distressed. And those foil sheets have just picked up some of the texture off our cardstock and it looks really lovely. So that's just one of the makes. Now here are the butterflies in action. With all that dimension, the sculpting kit's been used. We've layered over those um, more detailed elements on the die from each of these butterflies. And just look at the detail we have there. So this card is fantastic. Again, we've used some of the pattern paper. Just subtly, we've used some of the pattern paper. We've used some of the cardstock to divide it up. So this is a really fantastic card. And then just that happy birthday sentiment finishes it off and again we've used the foil sheets over here the great thing about these foil sheets is that you, unlike the opulent cardstock which is really easy to just cut straight away if you just put that extra effort in use the foil sheets you're also getting the texture of our textured cardstock as well as that metallic finish which is just brilliant and last but not least the last card I'm going to show you here is this Beautiful Jar of Flowers die by Lisa Jones, and we've used it with one of our dimensional domes here, which is the jar shaped one. We've used some, again, some of the pattern paper on the back, which has really allowed all these colours to tie in together. We've got the Mermaid Kiss here on these petals. We've used some of the Lemon Cello, and again, we've used these sequins as the flower innards, which is a really great idea. But we've also used them to turn it into a lovely shaker card. So there we have it, folks. That is actually all from me. I hope you are as excited as I am to uh, start playing around with all the items in this February craft box, and I can't wait to see what you have come up with. So I will see you next time.